With generative AI emerging as a formidable force, how do you see the role it will play in this reskilling? And what do you think some of the essential skills for tomorrow are? First, I see generative AI as a tremendous opportunity, not only for companies like us, uh, Capgemini, but, but many, many, many companies. So that will create both new opportunities, like new jobs, as you mentioned, so things like uh, prompt engineers, the way to ask questions into the system, but also a lot of people uh, becoming AI auditors to manage the system, uh, or AI trainers to train your system, and finally, uh, obviously looking at ethics and the way those systems are evolving. So Shoba, technology has a growing impact on tomorrow's workforce. Uh, can you share some of the initiatives we are taking in terms of digital divide? As a leader in digital, that's always been our focus. Recognizing the risk of an increasing digital divide, how do we address it? And we do this through many digital inclusion interventions, primarily our digital academies. We have 44 digital academies, and through these academies, we've graduated almost 30,000 individuals uh, and prepared them to actually embark on digital careers in companies such as ourselves. And we're proud to have 6,000 of these people within Capgemini as our colleagues today. And then through partnering with um, nonprofit organizations, about almost 2 million people benefited from our digital literacy and empowerment programs. Some of them are deeply impacting in terms of career shaping and so on, but others are more in terms of helping people navigate a world that has increasingly gone digital and online. Pascal, what advice do you have for people embarking on careers in this ever-evolving digital and technology landscape? My advice to the new generation would be to embrace innovation I know it can generate some fear, but there are much more opportunities than things we should watch out. The solution to many of our problems lie into changing the game and doing things differently. But at the same time, we have to be pragmatic and responsible. Because the choice we make for technologies has a huge impact for the world we're building for tomorrow. I couldn't agree more. And I do think we as Capgemini are really in a fortunate position to be able to both address the opportunity that technology presents and bring it to non-government organizations, to beneficiaries who can't really do this on their own. And on the other side, to be able to invest in our digital inclusion initiatives.